I have been speaking a lot about Huawei laptops this year. Now I'm here to make yet another video comparison. This time with the MacBook Pro 13 and the Huawei MateBook X Pro. Yeah, I know, I know. Most of you guys will tell me that the MacBook Pro 13 is the best. But let's see what we can compare with both of these. Before I dive in, if you are new to this channel, please do consider subscribing to Logan the Tag Guy YouTube channel. Our new goal here is to reach 100,000 subscribers. It's a huge goal, but with your help, we can reach it. Let's get started. I'll be comparing the MacBook Pro 13 model that comes with the 10 Gen Intel Core i7 model with the MateBook X Pro 10 Gen Intel Core i7 model. Apple didn't mention what model of the Core i7 they are using, but it has been stated in their website that it's using the model that comes with 2.3 GHz quad core 10 Gen Intel Core i7, turbo boost up to 4.1 GHz with 8 MB shared L3 cache, while the MateBook X Pro uses the 10 Gen Intel Core i7 105 u processor. It comes with 1.8 GHz 4 cores turbo boost up to 4.9 GHz. By comparing both of the processors, the MacBook's processor seems to work better because of the higher operating frequency. Looking into the price, you can get the MacBook at peak for $2,599 and the MateBook Pro X can be bought at $1,355. And wow, that's almost half the price of the MacBook. And in this video, we will let you know what you can get from the MateBook X Pro. I will leave the Amazon link down in the description below for you to check it out. Now, let's talk about the display. The MacBook comes with a Retina display with 13.3 inch diagonal LED backlit display with IPS technology. It comes with a resolution of 2560 by 1600 native resolution at a 227 pixels per inch with support for millions of color. It comes with 500 nits of brightness with white color P3 with True Tone technology. For the Retina display, it features a bright LED backlighting and it delivers deep blacks and bright whites. It supports P3 white color for even more vibrant greens and rates that fit sRGB. And every MacBook Pro features True Tone technology. The white balance automatically adjusts to match the color temperature of the light around you for more natural viewing experience. Meanwhile, for the Huawei MateBook X Pro, it comes with a display size of 13.9 inches and it comes with a display type of LTPS. It comes with a screen resolution of 3000 by 2000 with a 260 pixels per inch. The contrast ratio is 1500 by 1 with a maximum brightness of 415 nits. It also comes with a light sensor and a viewing angle of 178 degrees. It also comes with a 10 point multi touch sensitive screen with finger gesture screenshot. The Huawei MateBook X Pro comes with a remarkable 91% screen-to-body ratio with a 3K full-view display which gives you a massive view in vivid details. It also comes with 3x2 aspect ratio which is perfect for reading and writing. It also comes with 100% sRGB white color gamut which makes the images and the videos more vibrant and realistic. The advantage of the Huawei MateBook X Pro in the screen display is the touchscreen, which equipped with the sensitive touchscreen, Huawei MateBook X Pro allows you to scroll, zoom, select and interact very efficiently and intuitively. Now you can even swipe down with three fingers to capture screenshots. For the weight, the MacBook Pro 13 comes at 1.4 kg, while the MateBook Pro X comes at 1.33 kg. Both of these laptops are built really really well with a good sleek design and is certainly a portable powerhouse notebooks. For the graphics, Apple say for this MacBook Pro 13 it has the eye-opening graphics performance with the new powerful Iris Plus graphic with 1TB SSD and 16GB memory. It delivers up to 80% faster graphics performance than the previous generation. That means you can effortlessly do video editing with a faster 3D rendering and a smoother gaming. The 13-inch MacBook Pro includes a solid-state drive that's blazing fast with a sequential read speeds up to 3GB per second. The standard configuration has twice the capacity of previous generation and with up to 4TB of storage, you can take all your photos and videos with you no matter where you go. And with the Apple T2 security chip, everything is automatically encrypted on the fly. While the MateBook Pro X comes with the NVIDIA GeForce MX250 discrete graphics, up to 16GB of memory and up to 1TB of fast SSD, the Huawei MateBook X Pro is built to provide all the horsepower you need, incredible multitasking efficiency, faster image processing and smoother gaming experience are now all in one in this MateBook X Pro. 
Sadly, both of the laptops can't upgrade the RAM. This is due to the RAM is soldered into the motherboard. While there is a HDD slot for certain models for the MacBook Pro 13 and the MacBook X Pro if you want to increase the storage. The MacBook Pro 13 comes with a Bluetooth 5 and Wi-Fi 5, while the MacBook Pro X comes with Bluetooth 5 and Wi-Fi 6. So the Wi-Fi connection will be much faster in the MateBook. So an upper edge for the MateBook here. For the ports, the MateBook X Pro comes with two USB-C ports which supports data, charging and display ports. And it also comes with one USB-A 3.0 and it also comes with 3.5mm headset and microphone jack. While the MacBook Pro comes with Thunderbolt 3 which combines ultra high bandwidth with ultra versatility of USB-C industry standard to create one rev up universal port. It integrates data transfer, charging and video output in a single connector, delivering up to 40 GB per second of throughput for twice the bandwidth of Thunderbolt 2. The MacBook Pro is available with up to 4 ports so you can do all of them from either side. Existing devices are easily connected with a cable or an adapter and the Thunderbolt 3 is reversible so no matter how you plug in, it's always right side up. For the battery life, the MateBook X Pro comes with a battery capacity of 56 watt hour and it comes with a charger brick of 65 watt and Huawei say it can handle up to 13 hours of local video playback, 11 hours of web browsing, 13 hours of video playback and 15 hours of regular work. While according to our review, the charging time was fairly average at 165 minutes but it does reach 50% charge in about 40 minutes which is likely quick enough for most people and based on our test we got a 9 hours of battery life by testing it with a 1080p full screen video of YouTube in edge with better battery mode on with a screen of 50% brightness and Wi-Fi on. For the battery of the MacBook Pro 13, Apple say it can last up to 10 hours of wireless web, 10 hours of Apple TV app movie playback and up to 30 days of standby time and it comes with a built-in 58 watt hour lithium polymer battery with 61 watt USB-C power adapter and if the laptop is being charged while in use, it can take up to 2.5 hours to charge from 0 to 100% using the 61 watt charger. Based on our test, we got 9 hours of battery life by testing it with a 1080 piece full video on YouTube in Safari with a screen brightness of 50% and Wi-Fi on. Now for the keyboards, the MateBook X Pro comes with full-size backlit chiclet keyboard. It also comes with fingerprint power button. The power button detects your fingerprint to let you quickly and safely access the desktop with just one touch. It also comes with neat touchpad with multi-touch and it also comes with a webcam that sits discreetly on the keyboard and pops up only when you need it. And it's an extra safeguard for your privacy as well. While the MacBook Pro 13 comes with a faster and more efficient Magic Keyboard which features a refined scissor mechanism with 1mm of travelling and it delivers the best typing experience ever on a Mac notebook. A dedicated escape key allows you to switch between the modes and views. The inverted T arrow keys help you to fly through lines of code, spreadsheets or game environment. The touch bar puts powerful shortcut in front which puts the command you need most precisely where you need them which saves time and key strokes. It also comes with Touch ID which provides fast authentications. For the wireless sharing, you will have Sidecar which allows you to merge your iPad with your MacBook Pro 13 and you can also mirror the screen so that they can become the same display with the same content making it perfect for sharing exactly what you see with others. And it also comes with Mac plus iPhone all together now. With a, you can copy a note, message or document on your iPhone and paste it on your Mac. You can create a storyboard on your Mac and stack it up in your iPhone. And you can start an Apple Arcade game on either device and finish it on other. Your Mac works it with your iPhone in ways no other computer can. For the wireless sharing of the MateBook X Pro is the Huawei Share. With just a simple tap, your smartphone and Huawei MateBook will transform into one and it will come as one super device even without an internet connection. Your phone screen appears on your laptop which allows you to drag and drop files between them. You can edit the files on your laptop while messaging your colleagues on your phone using the same keyboard and mouse. This cross-device collaboration makes life much more easier.
For the speakers, the MacBook Pro 13 has a dynamic sound stage, wide stereo sound that feels and sounds much wider than the physical dimension imply. Movies are more immersive, music more room feeling, and the three built in mics form directional beams that capture your voice more clearly for FaceTimes and calls. It comes with the stereo speakers with high dynamic range, wide stereo sound, support for Dolby Atmos playback, and three mic array with directional beam forming. While the MateBook X Pro has a powerful quad speakers and split frequency setup, offers you woofers with deep and resonant bass and tweeters with clear treble. In addition with quad microphone and intelligent noise reduction function, the environmental noise is effectively filtered. Huawei MateBook X Pro can pick up your voice from 4 meters away, so the Voice Enables app can clearly hear and support you easily. The quad speaker comes with 360 degree sound receptions. Now let's dive in into the gaming section. For the MacBook Pro 13, the gaming performance from the Iris Plus graphics is very good for an ultra portable laptop, which is not intended to play demanding AAA titles. On Uni Engine Heaven Game Simulation, which renders and pans through a detailed 3D scene and measures how the system copes, the MacBook Pro manages 40 frames per second on medium quality setting at 720p resolution and 18 frames per second on ultra settings at 1080p. While gaming in the MateBook X Pro, it has the NVIDIA GeForce MX240, although weirdly a bit slower than the MX150 that came on the first generation of Huawei MateBook X Pro. It is a welcome addition and permits some casual gaming. While you can forget about playing the latest AAA blockbuster on a max out setting, you can still have some fun with medium level of settings using the AAA games. For video editing, with the latest 10th generation Intel processors, the 13-inch MacBook Pro delivers up to 80% faster graphics performance for 4K video editing with faster rendering, while the MateBook X Pro runs most of the app with ease and capable of handling simple 4K editing on Adobe Premiere Pro. During the video editing and rendering, I did encounter some thermal issues which I believe it's common for mobile processors, but at least it didn't crash the program or have a random restart. So we are in the middle of this pandemic, so for online classes application, both of these laptops can handle applications such as WebEx, Microsoft Teams, Google Meetings, and Zooms. Both of these laptops can actually handle this software for a longer period of time, with maximum usage up to 5 hours on both laptops. Before I jump to the pros and the cons, if you like what you are watching, a sub to this channel will be massively appreciated. For the pros of the MacBook Pro 13, it has a beautiful high resolution retina display, it comes with powerful speakers, it has an incredibly sleek lightweight aluminum built case, it's generally fast performance and generally it has a solid battery life. For the discontinued 13 inch non touch bar model, it has a removable internal storage. The touch bar is useful and it has a clever versatile force touch trackpad. And the Thunderbolt 3 connectivity standard is fast and easy. And it has a better magic keyboard design with scissors switches as well as better speakers and microphones. It has a high storage option. And wow, that's a lot of good things about the MacBook Pro 13. While the pros of the MateBook X Pro, it has a beautiful 14-inch display in a 13-inch frame, it has a unique webcam placement, it has a respectable battery life, it has a bright 3x2 touchscreen, it has a gorgeous overall design, it is fast in performance, comfortable in keyboard, it has a long battery life, and both the USB Type-C and Type-A ports are welcome. The cons of the MacBook Pro 13, it has no SD card slot, it has no MagSafe power connector. The RAM is soldered to the motherboard and you cannot replace or upgrade it after purchase. It is a really expensive notebook. And the con of the MateBook X Pro, it also has no SD card slot, it has a subpar webcam, it is unable to sustain maximum CPU turbo boost for extended period. The RAM is soldered and it is also expensive. Before I end this video, this video is made based on my hands-on usage on the Apple's MacBook Pro 13 and Huawei's MateBook X Pro. The views, pros and the cons were made based on my usage on the laptops. There's no compensation and no copy approval provided by the manufacturers to me. There's certainly no early preview of this video was given to the Apple manufacturers or the Huawei manufacturers. Logan the tech guy works for the viewers, not the brand manufacturers. So that's it between the comparison between the MacBook Pro 13 and the MateBook X Pro. You can't go wrong with either one of these. And of course, it all comes down to how you use it. So what about you? Which one of these guys will you go for? 
And if you did find this video helpful and if you want to see more from me, then hit the subscribe button below and tap on the bell icon. It is always really appreciated. And check out my other laptop comparison videos and I will catch you next time right here. Remember, we are still in the middle of a pandemic now. So stay safe, all love and peace out.